one of the more unusual stories we've had in a while. A team of scientists has transformed spinach leaves into beating heart tissue. Researchers in Massachusetts say they came up with the idea over lunch. You know, typical lunch <laughs> conversation. Sure. Is that vein leaking? Uh, no, that is actually, so that's red liquid coursing through the spinach veins. It's dye, it's not blood, but this is fascinating. What they want to do is they want to find a solution for widespread organ donor shortage. There's just not enough, you know, donors to go around. You hear of so many people. I know of so many kids who are sitting there waiting a for, he for hearts, waiting for different uh, mm. organs, and it's very, very difficult to reproduce veins. So the group decided that they looked at the spinach leaf and they wanted to use the system that was already in place there. So what they ended up doing was kind of flushing out the veins, making them translucent, and then pumping in little beads almost you you look terrified well, this is I'm so just, cool well, i'm picturing the patient who they're like hey we're going to put the spinach in you and just kind of hope things go well. But, <laughs> but I do love the ingenuity of, you know, just this doctor sitting down for a salad and looking mm -hmm. at it and saying, hey, wait a minute. Oh, this spinach but, leaf has veins too. Right, but you got to wonder, you know, hopefully if more people were organ donors, maybe we, we wouldn't have to resort to the spinach leaves, but it right. is cool that they can, can do that. I think it's interesting too what hopes it could have for heart attack patients yes. because when you have a heart attack, oftentimes part of your heart tissue does yeah, die. Yeah, it's just gone. You can't bring it back. And so maybe this would be a way to regenerate some of that tissue as well. Right. I think they were saying there are some challenges. They're going to need to stack more and more of it because it's actually not as thick as what they need it to be. This is still years out, but right. it's more yeah. so, Rachel, the science of actually kind of finding this discovery moving forward. Right. Whose that. mind works like that, that you're going to grow essentially meat on a leaf? A doctor at lunch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. This is we why need, we're all journalists. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, pass on my salad today. <laughs> I, one thing I do love about this, I, we've been looking for different cures for cancer, for different things for so, so long. There needs to be more innovation in this way. And if it's a spinach leaf that can help us do it and help kind of create some of these cures, I say good for these scientists at lunch. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Maybe they should buy them lunch. That would be nice. <laughs> we